Hello everyone and welcome to the NewTek TriCaster TC1 Get Started Training. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the built-in media servers. Now at the bottom of our screen, we have our internal media players. We have two DDRs for bringing in clips, our graphics bins for titles and stills, and our sound player for audio files. Now the first thing we want to do is import some media. So how we do that is we'll go up to the top left corner of our screen, select File, Import Media, and this allows us to browse through our media and find clips that bring into our TriCaster. So we'll go ahead and select this clip, and you can also add clips directly to your different media players. I'll go ahead and select that as DDR1, and you can import and close this bin while the clip is being imported. And once that clip is finished encoding, it will show up in our DDR1 bin. Now when using import media, this also transcodes the file into a TriCaster friendly format and copies it onto your internal media drives. Now you can also add more clips by clicking the plus button at the bottom, selecting all the clips you want to bring in. And you can even rearrange these clips and edit these clips by trimming out the in and the out points. You can also add transitions by hitting the plus button and navigating to the transitions menu. Selecting one and hitting OK and now we have a transition between these two clips. Now you can also select multiple clips Click the plus button and add a transition, which will then add a transition to every clip selected. Now at the bottom of our DDR window, we have several basic controls. You can use a selector to navigate between your clips, stop and start your clips, loop your clips, also set the speed in which you want these clips to play, and we also have a mode for list mode or single play mode which allows you to just play one clip or play multiple clips one after the other. And over here we have our autoplay mode and let me show you how that works. In DDR2 I'm going to select this clip and turn on autoplay. Now I have DDR2 in my preview window and as soon as I hit my transition that clip will automatically start playing. Now when I have 10 seconds left the timeline will turn yellow and 5 seconds left it'll turn red and then once that clip ends it will automatically switch to my preview shot. Each media player also has presets so you can build different playlists and access them quickly. The TriCaster TC1 also features two graphics players. In Graphics 1 I filled this up with a bunch of different stills to use this as a still store. You can use this for full frame or graphics with transparencies to assign to a DSK. Now in graphics bin number two I have two different title templates to choose from. Now you can go in and edit these templates by clicking this button here on the left and enter in your own text. which you can then assign to a DSK to overlay on your program video. And now let's talk about the sound player. This is a tab where you can go and import in different sounds to play in your production. For sound effects, music, whatever you need. Now the last media player we have is buffers. There are 10 animation buffers and 5 still buffers to choose from. You can use these to select short animations like bugs or overlays so you don't have to tie up your DDRs and you can use these for full frame graphics or graphics with transparencies to assign to a DSK. You can also use buffers for titles and stills. You can also make your own custom frame buffer animations using the included animation store creator software. Now that we've gone over our media players, in the next video I'm going to show you how to bring in remote video callers using built-in Skype TX.